Can you smell it? Can you smell the ground contact? Hello, everybody. There's a stack guy, 24 and 16. How are we doing today? The little brother to the Nova lineup, all right? Or little sister, all right? The Dyna Blast 3 in for a full review, all right? 24, 16, and it's just nice, all right? There's the weight on your screen, all right? Not the lightest shoe on the market, but hey, for a daily trainer, it's, it's holding its own, okay? Upper standard engineered mesh, uh, nothing, or sorry, engineered knit, I should say, nothing to write home about. Decent uh, heel collar uh, as far as, pl yeah, you know, it's comfy. It's not, you know, not crazy, not plush, but it is comfy there, and it is not a gusseted or semi-gusseted tongue. Very thin tongue, keep that in mind, which is one of the reasons the lockdown isn't a little bit higher, and standard, standard for the upper, all right? This is a shoe from maybe five or six years ago with respect to that upper, but guess what? For the price point, it's doing its job. Flight foam blast, the good old stuff, and just so you know, the women's stack height is one millimeter shorter uh, in the heel and the forefoot. Um, yeah, so I like how ASICS is dialing in different designs for men and women because of our different biomechanics and our different, uh, just how we strike the ground and our overall uh, different anatomical makeup. All right, there you go, Rad and Energy Return, seven out of 10, there you have it. But I foresee this Flight Foam Blast going the distance. I like it, everybody. I don't see any breakdown thus far after the testing, okay? Ahar plus rubber on that outsole, perfect. To my eye, I'm gonna go with one and a half, maybe two millimeters, not quite of Ahar plus, right around there of Ahar plus. So it's, it's really gonna bump up that durability for the outsole, okay? I did notice for fit, wanna make a, a point of this, that my toes had plenty of room at the end of the shoe, and it's kind of a longer, elongated toe box, okay? So not necessarily wide, but long toe box. So keep that in mind as you're getting your fit dialed in for the Dyna Blast 3 Comfort. Nothing to write home about. This is not, you know, the Nova Blast, but this is definitely not the Super Blast, all right? Which I'm testing at the moment right now. Positive is that outsole. Drawback is the fit, okay? And I am gonna, boy, I would go four to 10 miles daily trainer. Not a long run, not an easy day. There's not enough cush under step for an easy day, but four to 10 and just, you know, there's some, actually here's other shoes to buy right now. Not quite, but reminiscent of the SL 20.3 or the, really the SL 20.2, frankly. SL 20.3 is a little bit more stack under, under step, but it's just kind of that knock out those miles when you don't want to take out a special shoe and you don't want, you know, you might want to save your speed threes or save your uh, Triumph 20s for special days and just go knock out those daily miles in the Dynablat. That's where the shoe is falling in the running shoe rotation for me. I've never, I don't think, you correct me, have I ever given out a 10 out of 10 for any category, $100. That's what I'm talking about. Price point, $100, brand new. This is, I am putting it in the daily train. So for me, 120 is like the sweet spot. If we can keep daily trainer running shoes in that 120 range, that makes me very happy. $100, brand new, that is beautiful. Thank you, Ace, it's keeping uh, inflation in mind for everybody around the world. Holy, that's, uh, I'm amazed. So I went 10 out of 10, I almost went nine, but I was like, no. That's an amazing, amazing price point. And yes, they are available down below or on demoreglobalrunning.com. So I just, it's that special, okay? And I mean, I enjoyed it. Now, 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 as soon as I get like my runs, even my daily training runs are like around 12 to 15 miles. I probably won't use this shoe just because I need a little more, a little more forgiveness under step. But again, for those four to 10 mile runs, beautiful right there. And those running shoe quick specs one more time. There you have it for the Dynablast 3. Soak them in. And we squeezed into the sevens for the full review score. There it is, 7.1. Nice work there, Asics. I know it's like, listen, for $100, the value there is just special, okay? And I, the other thing, okay, I think I put the Skechers Go Run Ride 10, which is fine, but with respect to 
durability and I mean ASICS is going to blow Skechers out of the water er almost every time with respect to durability. So again, ASICS, awesome work there. Cameron, you get the comment of the day. You made me laugh on this one. One of these days, something is going to make Seth do backflips. The price point of the Dynablast 3. If I could, if I could, if I could get it going, Cameron, I would. I don't know what it'll be. Maybe the Mach 5, maybe the Nova, Nova Blast 3. We shall see, Cameron. You made me laugh. All right, question of the day. Best value running shoe of 2022. Best value running shoe that you have purchased of 2022. Sound good? There you go. Best value. Whew. I don't know. Maybe the Dynablast 3, everybody. All right, we'll go A6 running shoe playlist. A6 running shoe playlist. Right there, right there, right there. All right, seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.